I am Takur. I have just come to answer any questions you may have at this time about the colonies, or about anything that is on your mind. Many have expressed different things to me during the week. I hear many thoughts and many people will express themselves. This would be a good time for you to come and ask your questions. Welcome to Kerr. Thank you. It is good to be with you. It's good to be with you. Dan has a few questions. Yes. Hello, Takur. I've got to locate the question because one was from Bill. Yes. He wants to know if his infusion happened and he wants to thank you for the knee repair and he would also like to ask uh, ask for help with his mother. His mother uh, fell down, broke her hip, and could use some good healing assistance. But uh, he's curious about the infusion and the knee, and thanking for the knee. Is his knee feeling much better now? Yeah, he said he had no pain yesterday. Yeah. There, the infusion will be starting. I do not know when it was supposed to start. I believe it is going to start in a couple days. The infusion is not yet. yet. Okay. All right. I will let him know. But if the knee repair it. happened during the evening. Yes. Okay. All right. That's all I have for this moment. And now let Sabrina jump in here real quick. I have a question. There is a question within the room. <laughs> One moment. Come to the microphone. Okay. Hi, my name is Sandy, and um, I've been recently listening to Corey Good, David Wilcock. Uh, Corey's explaining about an artificial intelligence that has come, that's been around for centuries from yes. another universe. Is that all true that they are coming in there in our universe and taking over on some bodies and technologies? Yes, let me explain. Okay. Um, I do know who Corey Good is. Okay. The, the AI, the artificial intelligence that is in our universe, but not really that close to this galaxy as yet, but they, they are a not a caring species and they do not understand emotion. But it would appear that within the next hundred years, before they even get to our galaxy, they are going to become sentient. They're going to start feeling and understanding emotions and because they are already studying emotions and they are putting them into their thought processes they do not feel them as of yet. They do know about what they are supposed to feel like if you know what I mean. It has been explained to them what emotions are and what they can feel like but they are not yet experiencing it and yet they are working on technology that will help them to experience this and once this comes about there will be a change in their activity. Are they currently on earth though? I mean are they currently in some beings on earth? Um, not that I am aware of. That I hear that they have sent some to Earth, but we are not, we have not been able to track that down. It may be true, but I am not sure. Okay. But we, did not, we do not know, uh, because they have taken on human form and, you, and taken on quite a bit of biological surface, it, they cannot be seen as perhaps maybe only a slight blip now and then. But if it's true that they are on Earth, they have come through wormholes and dimensional shifts. Okay. Thank you. You are welcome. Anyone else in the room with Jim? It does okay. not appear that anyone here is asking questions, but I would okay. like to make a small report before answering any other questions. Okay. We are bringing people back to the to the colonies uh, very shortly and uh, many of you have requested to come to the colonies 
and uh, things have been repaired and things are looking very good at this time. So we will be bringing you back um, very, very shortly. A date has not been set. They did set one date, but it has been pushed back due to a, uh, a problem with uh, transmissions uh, with Colony 3 and 4. Uh, a, f a couple of the ships are out of communication with one another, and until that is fixed, there will be uh, no transports. Is there any other questions at this time? Yes, uh, Kralak had a question. Yes. yes, hello to you. Hello, Kralak, how are you? I'm fine. Um, I have three questions. Um, my first one, as you mentioned before, about uh, there, there being an insectoid like liquid that is in some humans that's preventing them from remembering. Uh, are you talking about the artificial intelligence? You broke up a little bit. No, you, were, you mentioned before about an insectoid liquid that is in some humans oh, yeah. that is preventing them from They're remembering. In, yes, that, that stops the uh, holographic from attaching to the biologic. Yes, um, we have a 10, a 10 infusion program that can relieve about 99% of the insectoid compound. It is, we are preferring not to use it. It's very time consuming. It takes, a, it's uh, one infusion every so many days and it takes a, a very long time. So uh, at this point we're more hoping that the governments would give in to site to site than, we, than the holographic. So there, we are making some headway with them. They do want the medical transport. That is the first thing that they are really looking at. Because many of them have things that they want us to work on. But if we, they do not agree to do it for the whole planet, then we cannot do it just for them. OK. Um, my second question is, if, that, if there's any information that is for me today. Um, one moment, please. There's many communications from the canine world, but we will speak of that at another time. It will not be okay. Okay, and my last question is, um, how do Lyrans uh, flirt with each other? How do, well, when they become mates, how does it become official? Like here on Earth, we have a uh, th thing called weddings. How do Lyran mates become official? There is a ceremony as well. It is not similar to any of your weddings. There is a lot of ritual involved in it and a lot of movement because cats are very agile. So there is a lot of movement, a lot of circling each other and a lot of movement within the group that uh, is very symbolic of the union. So it's like a dance, dancing. There, it is a dance, it is a, a ritual, it is a uh, interaction it's many things, yes. And there are, there is there's languages, there's the ancient language that is used, and there is the modern language that is used because it ties them both together in the different worlds that we are living in. As time went on with the, the ritual of union, it, it, uh, some things did change, as always. Changes always occur, and it has become now a, um, a very beautiful ritual. Uh, there are traditional words that are said, there are traditional actions that must be made, or not must be, but are happy to be made, and we enjoy it very much. Now, there are many that do not go through this union that are living together, and that is seen as union as well, because you do not have to take on the rituals of the old world to, to become a united, so... 
Uh, thank you for that. You're welcome. Sam? Sam? Hello, Hello, Sam. Sir. Hello. Um, I got a question about infusion. Um, has that been done or has it been activated? In your body? Yes. Yes, you have gone through one infusion. Okay. And uh, another question is, in my meditation, I saw a jaguar that came by, um, like a vision, but I don't know who it is. Could you tell me more about that? You saw a what? A jaguar? Yes, like a, like a face of a jaguar. Ah. Well, actually, that would probably be a, a Lyran face. It's similar to a jaguar. It's not... Similar to a lion, a jag, a cat face, yes. We have many different races on our planet as well. So I would say it was probably a Lyran. I'm not sure who yet, but okay. I can get that information for you. Okay, thank you. Pass on the mic. Sharon? Yes, thank you. Hello, Takur. Um, Hello, Sharon. How are you? I'm doing awesome. Thank you so much. Excellent. <laughs> um, I have a question for my mother. She's sitting here with me, and she yes. um, asks how she can get rid of the negative emotion she's feeling right now. <laughs> she's trying to get out of it, and she <laughs> can't. <laughs> uh, we will help her with that, yes. Um, I understand where that there is a reason for these negative emotions. Is that correct? Yes. And um, then we will be able to... It is often with humans that negative emotions, it's hard to rid yourself of them because it is a personal thing. It becomes part of your person. It becomes it, it was an insult or it was an injury to the person in general. Is that correct? Yes, you are correct. And so therefore... It needs a personal touch to get rid of the negativity as well. It must be healed in the sense of emotional healing. I will come to her and help her with that. Perfect. And I have one more. Um, my friend Derek, he asked me, he said he's going through a bit of a crisis and he feels like everything's kind of flip-flopped. And he would just like to hear an encouraging word. His life will be fine. The energies of the earth have affected him somewhat, but not like others, because he is resilient. They have affected his emotions more than his health. But right now, I see that there is something coming to him. There's a change that he has just been through. But this change will bring about some joy in the future. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you so much. I... So appreciate your visits. I love you much. Okay, Tukur, I have a few questions from Slava. Ah, so. Slava, how are you? Your daughter <laughs> Anna is doing very well. She is with you a lot. I know that you feel her around you. Uh, he's also asking about his daughter Leia. That's from Leia. Yes, and Leia is growing strong, very intelligent as well, creative. <coughs> um, she will be, you have visited her a couple times recently. Continue. He said if you could speak, say anything about her abilities. Did I not tell him about her abilities before? I am not sure. But she is very creative. She is um, mathematical. She's very in tune with math and uh, algorithms and making things happen with the algorithms that she's uh, creating. She's actually not creating them, but she is learning them in the sense that they can be creative. Does that make sense? Yes. Um, he also said that he had a dream with his son, Aloja. 
Yes. And I remember his visit uh, several years ago. I would love to visit him, but I'm not sure if I'm able to visit him in the astral yep. form. You can visit him in the astral form, and we will help you with that. He is at a great distance at this time. He has moved to uh, a, a farther distance away from you. However, this does not mean that you cannot communicate. You still can. And I will help you with that. Your astral projection will reach him. We will make sure of it. Okay, because he said he was asking if he's still in, in, in um, Sirius. No, he has gone uh, off of Sirius to a place beyond that. Okay. Um, now, Liney wanted to say something to you? Yes, Liney. Hello. I just wanted Hello. to send my love. I love you too, Liney. Yeah. I don't know if I've seen you for a while. I'm not sure. Uh, you haven't seen me for a while because people have not been on the ship for a while. But you will be coming very shortly to the colonies. Okay. I, actually, I just got one question um, about the um, the uh, Britain um, being part of the EU. Is it looks like we're lo more quite likely to come out of it um, when we have this referendum? Um, it would that actually, if we do come out of it, would that actually start a chain reaction and other European company uh, countries come out of it as well? It will give them thought about it. I do not say it a chain reaction. Mm -hmm. There are many people that have many decisions to make about it. There are things, as you know, that are plus and minus. For some, for your country, it was more plus. Yeah. But for some countries, it is not. So therefore, there will be some thoughts about it. It may be, um, they may have to uh, adjust it for some countries. Right. Okay, that could make sense. Okay, yeah, that's great. Thank you. Very good. Carolina? Hello, Tika. Much love. Much love to you as well, Carolina. <laughs> Tika, um, I just wanted to ask you about my Yael son, uh, Poetin. Yes. <laughs> um, um, Go ahead. Yeah, so did, did you say he's very well? Yes, he's doing very well. He's very fine. He's very strong. He's getting his ability, his strength is, is uh, greater than we expected. And his size is also greater than we expected. But he's doing very well, and he's a very wonderful and friendly person as well. Uh, um, he reminds me of your son in some way. Yes. Oh yes, good. Um, how does he? What does he look like? The beautiful for he has very, actually very human features at this point. Uh, at, before his features were not as human, but now they are becoming a little more human. So it is. I, I will let you know that once I see him again. But I haven't seen him for a little while. But I am told uh, that he's becoming more human-looking. Oh, wonderful. Um, did you get the message about his name? I added to Poetin and his A-L-O-K, -A -A which means Light of Divinity. Oh, beautiful. A-L-O-K? A-L-L-O-K? So yeah, Poetin a -Lock. What was the first part? Poetin, the name you gave me before. Oh, yes. And Allah, yes, yes, very well. Yeah, yeah, and um, uh, I, I would like to say that um, I would like to visit him and my two girls in the astral as well. Very well. Thank I, you. I understand you are you're a little muffled. All right. Um, ju I just said that I would like to visit him and my two girls in the astral, please. Ah, oh, no problem. We can help you with that. Thank you. Um, before I go, um, my mom is not feeling too well. I was wondering if you could send some healing. Very well. We will do so. Uh, thank you. Take care. I love you so much. 
love you too. Have Thank a wonderful you. day. You too. Sarah? Hello, Tucker. Much love to you. Much love, Sarah. Yes, I had a couple of questions. Um, well, I seem to have been visited by two children that I didn't know. I felt like they were mine, but I don't know, like... Were they, were they both girls? I have no idea. It, it, it's dreams a while ago. Thank you. How long ago were they visiting? Maybe in the last month or two. Have they visited more than once? No. Just the one time? Just the one, one time. Kyungkura, question here. Chekian Dundukwa no Ashu Wakya. Yes. I was questioning to see if it was Wakya. Wakya is one of the names that they were both girls. I suspected they would come to you. They are related to you, but they are not your children. Oh. But they are related to you in the uh, starseed families. Wakya is one, and Uksh is the other. Oh, how do you spell that? <laughs> um, I would say O O K S H. Uksh. That's Ksh. the pronunciation. I do not and know how they spell it on their pl planet. Okay. They are both what Pleiadian is children. Oh, Pleiadian, okay. Thank you. And do I have any other children that I don't know about? <laughs> no, you are fine. Okay. Um, also, can you give me any understanding about moving through the dimensions? I seem to have moved through dimensions with a horse. What colors uh, do you see? It was kind of like if I were to draw a picture of a horse and um, it was sort of beige white. Okay. Yes. You see the different uh, dimensions have colors that are slightly different than the colors that you see on your planet. When you're mm -hmm. going through a different dimension, you will see uh, yellows, greens, reds, beiges, things of this nature. And when and uh, they will it will be an indicator that you are not in the same dimension when the color of the whole area changes. Do you understand that? So if this right. was a dimensional visit, then the whole the whole dimension will take on a color temporarily until you are totally a part of it. Well, it wasn't just one dimension. It seems to be like I had one night where I just went and visited every like all twelve dimensions. Oh dear, that is uh, quite a trip. Right. I, I would love to sit and discuss that with you because you probably saw a lot of different things. I don't know. I just, I just saw myself in some sort of like a tunnel, and um, yes. a dragon being said it was a wormhole. Uh, yes, that's fine. That's um, fine. Uh, there must have been a reason why you went through that many dimensions. I'm not sure why, but it there had to be a, a reason, and I will find out what it was. Thank you. That would be perfect. <laughs> yes, because um, that many going through that many dimensional portals is very unusual. Okay, wonderful. And I'd like to know how are the colony colonies outside of Gurpreet here? Because I know you guys take great care. But how they are, are they fine doing with yes. the children with the children the the secondary colonies are still uh, um working and they are taking people but i i have no idea of what schedule or who they are taking i only are am aware of our scheduling mm -hmm. but yes the uh the kenjin uh the arab uh colonies are fine and still intact right Okay, and if are all of my infusions done, completed? Yes, yours are all done. 
Okay, thank you. I'll pass the mic. Christine. Very well. Greetings, Tinker. Greetings. Um, I was wondering if um, I've received the Yael um, DNA infusion. Yes, you have. Do you notice that um, you have a greater clarity of thought? No. <laughs> well, you do. Um, okay. And also in your work, you have a greater connection with the animals. This is always increasing, but with the Yuyil, it will increase, um, you will see it even more. So, um, I think that there are a, a couple particular animals that you do feel the increase with. Yes, that's very true. Um, do I need any other infusions to help me along, or um, in my... Um... Not at this time. Let's see how this one continues to work. I would like to see the clarity of mind become more apparent. Okay. And um, can you send me some healing to my hands? Because my arthritis is creeping along. Very well. There will be an infusion tonight. You had also mentioned once about getting a galactic um, language download. Would that help me with learning 3D languages? Not really, but it would help you with communicating with any beings that come on first contact. Okay. Much love. Thank but you very much, Tucker. I love your birds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well. Well, hello. Well, we can't hear you. There is silence. Yes, we can't hear you. He wanted to know if he had any hybrid children. He had written the question before, so. Yes, there are, you do have hybrid children. But um, I, I thought you were aware of them. Perhaps you're not. You have two, a boy and a girl. One is Pleiadian and one is Yuyil. <coughs> Their names are C Cecil. Interesting. One is named Cecil and the other one is Best. Any other questions? Uh, he's not typing at the moment, so I assume... He might be away from the mic. That would satisfy him. Um, if he comes back, I'll let him speak. Um, the car, I haven't felt lately uh, Leonardo. He used to be around me. Is there a reason for that? Who, who do you not feel? Leonardo, my hybrid child. Oh. Well, he is being trained, and so he's not around quite as often, but still... You should feel him because he is around. Perhaps he's just a little more subtle energy, or perhaps you're a little more distracted. But I will let him know to uh, give you a greater uh, realization of his uh, presence. Yes, because yeah. he, he was before, but lately I have not felt him, so I was wondering what had happened. I know Very well. he was a bit distracted, so I had to tell him to pay a little more attention. Um, but I'm it seems it. He, is, um, he is learning those things very well, but yes, he is easily distracted because he has many different things that he is interested in. Such as? Well, he is uh, creative. He likes architecture. He is very in intrigued with uh, human architecture and Pleiadian architecture. Also, he likes some forms of math. He is also into um, engineering with uh, math applications and uh, affixing different kinds of technology. Okay. Um, Takur, is there a way you could tell me how much of, what percentage of human DNA does he have? Yes, one moment, please.
21.1% human DNA. And the rest of it is Lyran? Yes. Okay. All right. I think Will is back. Very well. Thank you, Tucker. You are welcome. Will, we still don't hear you. So... Uh, Dan has one last question. Yeah. And then we will let you go from there. Yeah, yeah. Tucker, I just wanted to request um, a scan and an infusion for Alex. Uh, she's been having a time of it here, and I could use your assistance with her if you are able. Very well. We will speak later. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. They are calling me away, so I must go. Yes. Thank you for coming to Kerr. It has been a pleasure. I am glad that I was able to answer so many questions. Have a wonderful day. Namaste. Namaste. You too. Your kids, you.